and look at all these other strips. He could have upgraded almost all of these chests. Ah, I'm gonna die. Gorgon's helmet's yours. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Ooh. All right, guys, raiding is back. I'm so excited. Let's uh, keep working on our district a little bit. Hopefully we can get up to 150. Um, whoa, there we go. 131. Let's see what the next one is. But I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hit start Ray. There should be a lot of people on right now, but we'll see. We'll see if there are people on or not. Oh wow, we got a lot of this stuff just sitting there. Wow, I'm actually running out of stone blocks. This is crazy. How can I call myself a pay to win character if I run out of stone blocks? That just doesn't make any sense. I've got to, I've got to up my game, guys. I just keep waiting for there to be a new sale. Ooh, sharpshooters pack. Ooh, I'll buy it. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Ooh, <laughs> guys, that is super rare. It is really rare to get a the purple, the the three star one on. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. I know that there's totally going to be a meme about me on that one, but I don't even care. That was so unbelievably lucky. Okay. So we need thick cloth, bones, chains. Oh my gosh. We need so much stuff. I wonder if I have runes of power at home. I bet you we have runes of power at home. I hope we have runes of power at home. All right, we need some chains. Give me some chains. Why is it taking forever to match? Why isn't, why isn't everyone on celebrating? I guess a lot of people are waiting for their shields to run out. Um, it's still really early on in the update. And so at the time I'm recording this. All right, let's go see if we can find some runes of power. We're gonna see it, hopefully have runes of power. No, I gave them all away. I gotta stop giving my stuff away. Oh my gosh, runes of power are so easy to get normally. This is dumb. I got matched in a raid. Okay, we're entering this guy's base. If he beats me fair and square, he gets all of my stuff, which I'm low level, so there is some chance that he could beat me. There he is. <laughs> I wonder if he's freaking out right now. Dev do. Okay, I like this guy. Let's break into this guy's base. Dev do. I think Dev do's a new player. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a newbie. Okay, we're gonna scare him so bad, and then we're gonna give him a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be great. Dev do. I'm coming for you. Where'd you go, Deb Do? Are you sneaking around over here? Deb Do, you gotta defend your base if you want free stuff. Oh my gosh, I hate doing this. I'm just gonna buy. I'm literally gonna buy a raid pack just so I can find out where the basic lock picks are. Okay, here we go. We're gonna loot we're gonna see what he has in this chest. Ooh. Deb Do. You should have used some of this stuff. You could have upgraded one of these chests. Oh, Dev Dude, this is not good. Dev Dude, you cannot. You cannot be doing this, my friend. Why have you left good stuff in your base? Question mark. We are going to loot all of these chests. We're going to open all of these chests. And if Dev Dude doesn't come, oh my gosh, Dev Dude, why do you have. So many leather strips. Okay, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna give all this stuff back if he comes and just tries to defend his base. But look at all this stuff he has. Look at this. This is some good stuff. He's got nails. He shouldn't be doing this. Come on, Dev, do. 
And this is early. Man, look at all these other strips. He could have upgraded all of these, like almost all of these chests to level two chests. And oh, he has so many. Oh, runes of power. I need those. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take the runes of power for real. But they're easy to get. He, he can get more. Just watch some JCF tutorials and you'll you'll be doing great. More leather strips. Look at all of these leather strips, guys. Why does he have so many feathers and why are they spread out? Is this a, could this be an actual bot? No, I mean, he showed up. Is this guy gonna talk back to me or not? I'm taking your stuff home if you do not at least talk to me. You gotta talk to me. Look at that. Almost an entire small chest filled with just bones. Okay, well, I feel too bad to take all of his leather strips. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him some back. Even though he hasn't shown up to defend his base. But this could be a bot. Like I don't know if the devs added smarter bots in here that make us that are trying to throw us off and make it look like they're real. He literally showed up. He didn't even try to fight me. And he disappeared. All right. We're going to leave. If he talks to us at all, I will come back and give him his stuff. But I am I have a feeling this is a bot. I don't know. There's just something about it that seems shady. That he wouldn't even try to talk. That he just log off. So we're going to go uh, move the runes of power back. All right. So thanks for the runes of power. I can't believe I gave all my runes of power away. I knew I shouldn't have given that stuff away. Well, what a sad day that that guy, I don't know where he went. I don't know if he just kind of hung out in his vault. You know what? Let's go back one more time and just see if he's around. Because if he's around, I don't know. I don't know why he's not talking to us. He might be like, oh, all he took was my leather strips. Clearly, he did not know how to use his leather strips. It makes me mad. Nothing. Nowhere to be found. You don't think you would come out of your vault and, like, look around at least once? I think this is a bot. I should take everything he owns. I don't need any of this stuff. But I don't want to leave it here if it's a bot. Okay, let's go over to Frere's Land. Maybe we can match someone who can give us some some runes of power. Because runes of power are often, you know, it's, it's they're common. Oh, there's the Tomb of Ash. I love it. They added the Tomb of Ash in Frere's Land and it's perfect. Okay, we're gonna start another raid. We're also in the red zone. And we're gonna just look around, see if we can find anyone. Uh, obviously, they'll all be friendlies here. But if someone knows us, uh, and if we find someone that can give us runes of power, because runes of power are super easy. And we had some, I just kept giving them away in giveaways. I give stuff away all the time. So. Wait, look at this. I'm in a non-PVP zone getting attacked by a bot. Devs, your game's broken. Oh, I got matched in a raid. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Hello. If he doesn't know my pay to win count, I give stuff away. <laughs> then he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be a little shocked. He's gonna be like, why are you raiding me? <laughs> a lot of wood to break through. Not a lot of doors, surprisingly. All right, let's do it. Let's start getting to work on it. <laughs> I love having a bear. It's so crazy. You need to defend your base. 
You can raid me. I don't care. My family stole everything. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. You need to re grind. Aw, oh, Hinko. But you have to try to defend your base. Grab your best gear, period. You won't regret PvPing with me. All right. Hopefully he'll get his good gear. So you can see he's got like a little quadrant section here in the middle. Man, I hate when people, when families steal stuff from each other. It's just so dumb. You got to be careful, guys. We're going to keep that one. Is that his best stuff? I think the fire is going to kill him. <laughs> I just killed him with the hammer. Oh, man. That's funny. Why did you start a raid if you had nothing to fight with? Question mark. Hinko? Explain me this, Hinko. I don't know. To let pay to win waste their luck fix. <laughs> okay, I like this guy. That is funny. Okay, well let's get him let's get him some stuff. Uh what are we gonna give him? I'm trying not to give him stuff that um that I'll need later on. So let's see. We'll give him this, give him this, give him a bunch of blue gear, and we'll give him a fire axe, that would be cool, and we'll just give him some kind of random weapon breaker, just stuff to get him started, get him grinding again. What else can we give him? Hmm. Can you please unban me from Trade City? I'm not in charge of Trade City, you gotta talk to my persons, my peoples. You have fire bow? I don't know, you didn't do that great of a job of defending your base. I'm not gonna give you a fire bow. Look at this, we're giving this guy so much stuff. It's not a fire bow, but it's enough to get him, you know, replace some of the stuff his family stole from him. If you are Hinko's family, don't do that. That's not fun. That's not that's not the way to play the game. That's like what I that's, I'm like a broken record. Talk to Bake. Dr. Bake. Bake's, Bake's in charge of Trade City. He's doing a great job, too. You guys need to tell Bake how amazing he is because Bake is good at it. I don't know. He's, yeah. All right. Well, this raid was, I'm not giving him a fire bow just because this raid was not that exciting. You know, like, I mean, it's cool to help someone out, especially someone who lost their, you know, so much from a, such a sad circumstance, but you know, he didn't, he didn't really defend his base. You know, I told him to defend his base. He kind of did. Um, I don't know. I, I gave him stuff. That, that'll get him started. The vault is empty because of the 2020 bug. Man, that guy has gotten hit hard. I'm pretty sure my vault's empty on this account. I just don't use it. All right. Well, we need to find a place to get 15 runes of power. Ah, oh, I wish I had not. I gave. I probably gave a hundred runes of power away. Why did I do that? I needed to get to district level one hundred and eighty-six. Thanks. Uh, what else? What can we give him? I thought he was saying that he was gonna put the maple in his advanced furnace, like as fuel, and I was like, "No, you're not." But I realized he was saying he needed that to build his advanced furnace, which is great. That's such a great thing to give him for. Um, let's see. What else? Ten rods. I mean, I could probably get him. Sealing wax and varnish. Period. Gold ore. Lots of Odin stuff. You want to trade as much as you have for a full set of instigator gear and maybe some other pay to win resources? Question mark. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Perfect. All right, let me give this guy some more. I mean, everyone wants maple, right? I mean, that's what I would want if I was free to play. 
All right, well, I'll wait for these other guys to get back with what they have, and um, I'm just gonna keep supplying people with maple. That's, I mean, that's really what a free-to-play, a, a pay-to-win person is gonna have lots of maple. This is cool that these guys are helping out. So, y'all will be in the next video. <laughs> Hello, JCF fans. My greetings. <laughs> uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. I love, I love, I mean, really, it would be so amazing if Frostborn had a proximity chat. Oh my gosh, to be able to just talk with people right now, random people, would be so epic. Larko, you came back. Why did you run earlier when we were both green, question mark? Hmm. <laughs> he sent me a gold bar. Nice. Ah, I'm just giving maple right now. Just makes the most sense. I'm just gonna give him maple for all that. I don't even really pay attention to what he gave me in proportion, so I probably gave him too much, but that's okay. Thank you guys for your help, period. I'm gonna go work on finishing my district levels. Okay, so we got a ton of stuff, and that's, I mean, this is really good for us because we were gonna need a lot of runes of power we kept giving them away, and we actually need a lot to get to district level 186. We need 140 of them. And so, there we go, 133, building the training camp level four. District defenses are stronger. Ooh, all right, forge fasteners, glad we got those. 10 bars, you can see we're already having to start tapping into this quite a bit. Let's try to get to 140. Um, my hope is that we can get to 140 in this episode, and then we'll go open a wood, silver, and gold cache because we have the pendants. Might as well, you know, blow them as we go. Blow them, blow, whatever. Uh-oh, might be hitting a snag on ceiling wax. We did not have a lot of ceiling wax, but let's see, we need varnish sealing wax and then we'll go ahead and get some chains while we're at it this is it guys we're stuck again <laughs> we need 17 more stealing wax and we need three more varnish i think i have the varnish at home but so let's go ahead let's go home let's see if we have any of these resources then let's grab all the pennants and let's end this episode by opening those caches all right two more sealing wax and no more varnish, so we are out. We are stuck at district level 137. We really need a lot more sealing wax and a lot more varnish. I need to stop giving away Odin's type materials to people because that is definitely what we are. You know, I gave so much away not even realizing that that was what we were going to end up needing so much of. Yeah, that was a mistake, so. That's okay. Live and you learn. Now that you guys see what I'm doing, you can, you know, avoid my mistakes here. But let's go ahead and grab some pennants. All right. Uh, so I've got 30 of each of the pennants, but I just realized that Druids is up. So I'm going to, I'm just going to run in. We're just going to stick them in the different caches. And then we're going to go uh, to Druids because it's one thing to be able to, to do some PVP or I mean, it's really cool to be able to open these caches and we'll, you know, we'll do that. But what is really going to be awesome is going and, uh, and doing some PVP. Oh no, I entered. Well, oh well, you know what? Let's just enter. No, I, I need to, I need to go. Okay. So we are getting up here now, guys, this is so stupid to go to Druids alone with such good gear. I've got a Gorgon's helmet on. This makes no sense that I'm doing this, but I, you know, it's a giveaway. It's basically a fun way to give, do a giveaway. So I am going to mount up and we're going to see who's here. Oh, there's a player there. That guy looks pretty easy. Oh, there's another player there. Let's 
Some solos. Let's see if there's any uh, teams. Oh. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Ah, I'm going to die. Gorgon's helmet's yours. Good game. Ah, dang it. I was trying to say good game first. Ah, smoke. Destroyer. Good job. You guys, those guys, I don't know if they were pay free to play or not because they, they had, but they were smart. They went as a family. They were in blue gear. They were looking for people like me. Even though I just said it was dumb, there's actually quite a few people that end up doing it where they go and uh, and they they go to a zone like that with good gear like that. And, um, and it's because sometimes, you know, you guys have seen these episodes before where sometimes I'll go and I'm so strong, like no one can handle me. But now what they need to do now is they need to leave, okay? Because in a normal context, I might've gone like that, but then I'd get so, oh, I lost my Gorgon's helmet. I'd go tell my friends and my family would get on and we'd go kill them all. And so if, they, if they're smart, they will see that Gorgon's helmet and they will say, we have got to get out of here. We're in blue gear. We can't match some contexts uh, and, and we're going to run. And so that's where a lot of people, you know, that really separates the smart ones versus the not so smart. And um, so they grabbed all the stuff. Hopefully they left. If they're smart, they left. But uh, that's a random. Let's see if they're still here or not. Okay. Look at that. They left. I'm so proud of them. That is awesome. So these guys were really smart. They had stun traps in their bush. They were kind of sitting there. They've got blue gear. They're like, we're going we're gonna to do our best to try to kill someone with purple. And we're going to take their stuff. And I love it when you play like that. It's a lot of fun to play like that. It looks like they might be back now. Um, and, um, and, and you can get some really good stuff. So yeah, look, they're all here back. All right, well, I wished him good game. Um, those guys did well. And he brought a purple weapon, which is, is actually, this is perfect. What this guy did and his team did is perfect. If you're trying to milk druids, then you want to go blue gear, purple weapon, but full team. And you want to look for people like what I did, you know, because even though I, I never do this, <laughs> I never go solo unless I'm like recording a video and trying to entertain you guys. But uh, there are people that go like that because they're just wanting to PVP. They're wanting to kill people. They want to take on a whole team by themselves. And, um, and those guys played smart. They did what they needed to do. And they killed me, even though I've got a bear, I've got a level three class, I have everything going for me. You just can't, you know, handle three versus one. Uh, and they played smart, so that was great. Okay, so this is some, you know, this is a decent chest. We got the forged fasteners and the tin rods, which we're gonna need for our districts. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I probably should go ahead and make a stable, even though I am pay to win. Should I make a stable? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I make a stable or should I just be like, just show, you know, I like to do things on this account because it's my pay to win account. Um, I like to do things different. And so the idea of not having a stable, the fact that I've never even been to the green rock zone are all signs that kind of show, the fact that I've never crafted a level one backpack are all you know, signs that this is a pay to win count. I like that because that's the whole point of this account. So not having a stable, the stable is the only free to play way to get horses. All right, we are here at the Royal Cache, the best of all the caches. I'm really excited to see what we get. So let me know in the comments below, do you think I should never build a stable? I'm thinking that I'm leading towards that. Okay, oh, and I forgot that they add orbs in a free-to-play way. It's so awesome. Okay, we're gonna put this on. 
and this on, and this on, and this on. Take all. Okay, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this, guys. We have, I can't believe this, because I have the bear and I have a, you know, a level three backpack, I now have, I just gathered all of the contents from all three caches in one trip. <laughs> this is, this is crazy. I've never done this in my life. Um, this is 25, 40 slots plus the seven slots uh, of my inventory, my, the stuff I have equipped. And I was able to fit exactly 47 items, which is how many items I got from looting all three caches. This is amazing. So there we go. I got it all. I um, also got a warrior elixir, which is exactly what I need as an assassin. And I got a hunter's elixir, which uh, I'll use at some point. I mean, it's still a good, it's still a really good one. So I'm just going to bring these things home. Thanks, guys, for making this a great episode. We had people help us get to district 100 level. We had people helping us uh, get the resources for district levels. We got to raid a bunch of people. I'm glad Frostborn is back. You know, there's PvP in the zones, PvP in raids. The, the game is alive again, and it feels so good. All right, guys. 